Welcome, this is Zahn with Repro Products. Today's video is on how to place ceiling light fixtures in a ceiling and also not on a ceiling. This is a request from a user that um, asked me to try to figure out what's going on here. I built a model, it's a real basic one. I'm in Autodesk Revit 2020, by the way. This applies to any of the versions of Revit. If we take a look at the model, it's nothing but a few set of walls and some ceilings already placed and some light fixtures already placed. On the top portion of the model, you can see we've got a room that has a two by four grid and it is at eight feet high. These light fixtures are standard light fixtures. When you go to place these light fixtures by clicking component command, you can click load family and go find the light fixture that you need. Let's head over to the Imperial Library, head over to Lighting. In this case, Architectural, Internal, and picking maybe a 2x2 two two this time. These particular light fixtures, these families, are defaulted in the project. They are ceiling-based families. When I click Open, it loads them in. And you'll notice that because I have a ceiling, it gets hosted in the ceiling. And it actually shows up when there is a ceiling. So my cursor is over the ceiling. This area over here, there's no ceiling. My mouse turns into a circle with a diagonal across it. So it knows to be placed on that ceiling and it takes upon the height of the ceiling. So as I go to place it, either at this ceiling grid or this ceiling grid or this chipboard ceiling, it sits inside the ceiling. And then obviously I can use the align command and align it to the exact position and location that I want, as you can see here. For the chipboard ceiling, placing the light fixture where you want is really just a matter of using reference planes. So for example, I can use the align command and align it onto that face, or use the align command to align it to the center as well. When you're working with a situation where you don't have a ceiling, you have to work with light fixtures that are not hosted. In other words, if I start a new family by going to File, New, Family, and we head over to the library, Imperial Library, you'll notice under Lights, Light Fixtures, they have three that they give you. One called Light Fixture Ceiling Based, Wall Based, and just Lighting Fixture. The Lighting Fixture is also ceiling based as well. So even if you start with this one, it tends to want to behave in the same manner. What you need to do is you need to create a light fixture that is not based upon something that can just be placed individually and have no form of reference. The other method is to use the generic model that is face based. And if you create a light fixture and use this methodology, you can place it on the face of an entity or the work plane as well. So I'm going to cancel this for a second. We're going to take a look at this particular light fixture that I made. And it's called Light Fixture Non-Hosted. If I click Edit Family, it'll open up the family. If we go over to Family Categories and Parameters, it's still categorized as light fixtures. It has a light source, and it always stays vertical. And if we look at this in the front elevation view, we can see that it is tied to a reference level, and therefore it has association to that ceiling that you're placing it. When I created this, I also just created it so that there's a little bit of a top portion of that light fixture, like a little cap right here. and so when you look at it, it's just a simple uh, light fixture that is a, an extrusion with a light source inside. And so I'm going to close this file. And if we take a look at this particular object and I say right click and say create similar or CS for keyboard command shortcut, it goes directly into the command and allows me to just to place it freeform. And by doing so, I don't need to have a ceiling. And I can just place it and I can specify whatever elevation that I want it to be at. So let's say I make it five feet off of level one. If we were to look at the elevation view, we can see the one that we just placed, which is right here, the one that we used as a frame of reference. 
And then lastly, there is another one that I've created here called light fixture generic model face based. And what I did with this one is if I edit the family and look at it carefully, it's nothing more than this generic family hosted inside a face based family. The thing that you want to make sure and double check is its positioning. And then when you go to load it into the project and use it, if I head back over to the ceiling plan and select this one and type CS to create similar, you'll notice that I now have the ability to place it on the vertical face of something, on a face, or on a work plane. And if I choose work plane, I can place it on a plane that I've created. For example, here, level light placement, RP. And if I do that, and I, I'll put it over here for now, outside of the building. If we go to the elevation view, you can see that I have a placement plane of 12 feet, and the placement of this light fixture is based upon where that plane is set. One of the things that you have to double check and verify, which I didn't get a chance to do, is when you're looking at this family, the way I placed it in the front elevation, I should have placed it instead of on this face, on this face up here. So if I take this and I break that association, of the alignment, and I take this entity and I push them up, and I say align to that plane, that entity, and then place this as well, centered. Now taking a look at this, we can go ahead and load this into the project and overwrite the ones that we have, and it will flip its orientation. Lastly, because I originally created the face based family looking at where the light source is at, you can see that basically there's a cap and the light source is inside there. Okay? If you want to see the light source, then you can just open up visibility graphics dialog box, head over to lighting. It's all alphabetical, expand it and click light source. And when you do so, you'll see the light source that's showing up in yellow. If I type in SD to shade the display, then all the light fixtures are going to be shaded a dark black. But you'll see the yellow uh, light fixture source coming out. And then lastly, I know this isn't part of the request, but if you are working with a light fixture and you go into the family, you can always select that light source and you can click edit under light source distribution and you can change how that light source is emitting the content okay and if you change it like that then just remember going into the family types window you can make adjustments to different things like the light source symbol length the light loss factor the spot beam angle the field angle the tilt angle so because i chose this to be a spotlight I can adjust these angles if I need to, okay? So if I switch this to say 45 and hit apply, it adjusts. It's a little hard to see, so let me set it to shading again. And now let's switch this from 45 to say 15, something more drastic, so you can see the position change. And if I switch it to 90, it should go straight down. Saving and loading into the project, overriding what I have. It'll load back into the project and overwrite what we have. And now you can see that the light distribution is completely different. And if we look at this in 3D, we can see what's going on here. Again, if I open up Visibility Graphics dialog box, then I can scroll down to Lighting, expand it, turn on the light source, and now you can see the light source is shining. And that's it. That's how you place light fixtures in a ceiling and not in a ceiling with regards to a reference plane. Thank you very much for watching.